What's up guys, Ivan here from 239 Drunk Removal. In this video, I want to go ahead and review this hand truck, this trusted heavy duty hand truck that I've had since this January, so just over, just over half a year. I want to go ahead and talk about all the pros and cons of this thing. Now this is the Milwaukee hand truck. This has, according to the description here, uh, is 800 pound capacity vertical, 500 pound capacity at a 45 degree incline, and a thousand pounds for capacity in the horizontal uh, level. Now I got this thing in January when I was working on a big job moving out three big 10 by 20 uh, storage units into a nice house and the guy had a whole bunch of really really heavy furniture and my little plastic hand truck that I still have let me show you and here it is this is the Harper hand truck. I'm not sure what the capacity is, but it's certainly a lot less than that one. I got this one on Amazon for about $90 when I first started out. As you can see, it's rusted out at the bottom. The rest is plastic. It's much lighter than this thing, but of course this thing is heavy duty, no doubt. Got this at Home Depot for about $210. I was sticker shocked when I was at the checkout because I wasn't sure how much it was. The price tag wasn't um in the area but uh i was like whatever i'm gonna bite the bullet and this thing has lasted me since then and let me tell you what this thing i make it go through probably <laughs> at least 30 to 40 fridges to date i've moved at least two or three 500 to a thousand pound safes and in fact we probably moved some other heavier things that i wasn't aware of and i'm saying that because i let my friend borrow this hand truck well, I was on vacation and I came back and the wheel was bent. And since then I've been lifting pretty heavy things with this hand truck and I still have not been able to bend the other wheel or really bend anything else. For weight comparisons, let me go ahead and weigh this one right here. I got this little luggage scale here. I'm gonna turn on. Right there. I'm gonna try to lift this up by one hand. I don't know if you can tell, we're right about 24 pounds roughly let's try it again about 24 and a half pounds and uh, let's go ahead and try to pick this thing up and i'm pretty sure this is a solid 50 pounds now let's go ahead and try to lift this one up right here all right 40.8 about 41 pounds it's so not quite 50 pounds but a lot heavier than the first one you have the option to use the hand truck this way, 90 degrees you know, vertically. You can also adjust it to be in a 45 degree angle. And of course, if you want to lay it flat completely, you can do that as well. Now the one weak spot, aside from the, the axle bending after a lot of abuse, is actually this part right here. This is the part that, you, that latches onto the handle right here that gives it the 45 degree angle let me show you where the welding has become undone actually just recently after picking up a safe that probably weighed more than this thing can handle that's all i can say all right there as you can see the welding became undone this is of course fixable just got to go ahead and re-weld it hammer it back in there re-weld it and you're good to go and this thing's gonna last me much longer all right now here's a fridge that weighs probably about 200 pounds It'll come on the hand truck real easy. Pick it up, one hand. The handles, rubber handle grips here kind of wore off because I lifted many, many heavy things that eventually took them off. That's fixable, but regardless, this thing is very confident. It's holding it on the hand truck. Uh, it's, it's holding up the whole fridge very well. Moves with ease. I put it right here. Now I'd say that's pretty light uh, compared to many things I lift. Let's try that orange and green refrigerator, the double door. That one is much heavier.
The wheels spin real easy because these are puncture proof wheels. They're a lot harder, so although they absorb the ground very firmly, uh, little rocks can sometimes make it difficult to, for them to roll or get going. So it can be hard to get the hand truck going. You got to put some oomph into it. If you're on a, you know, a rough surface like this right here. Um, however, unlike with inflatable tires, these don't budge no matter how much weight is on the, on the hand truck. One last thing, you can actually fold this up into a 90 degree angle and be able to put more things standing up and up against this side without tipping over this way. So uh, for example, I got a little box right here. We could put that on top of the hand truck. So just like that, and let's say you wanna put another box on top of that, you can still easily keep balance with this thing, keeping things from tipping over. So that's very helpful. And of course, also not only in a horizontal way, of the hand truck but also when it's in the 90 degree angle and you have something to lift up that uh, is very big for example you have a fridge and you want to lift it up you know from this side well you can stick this thing out put it under the fridge and this part's going to be keeping helping you get uh pull the fridge up and let me show you what that looks like Now, I highly recommend this hand truck. I got this myself, even though I thought it was too expensive at first. But now I see it's definitely worth the money. You know, I already mentioned the wheels, that they're, they're uh, you know, um, puncture-proof. So, you'll never get a flat tire, but they, they're really hard. They can sometimes be, you know, rough, hard to get going on kind of gravelly surface. Um, another, another thing is that, of course, the price. You know, these are around 200 bucks, 220 maybe on sale a little less, but... Uh, they could be a little much for some people, I understand that. But again, if you're looking for a heavy duty hand truck, this is uh, a really good buy. Uh, a few things to keep in mind is that sometimes when you're lifting heavy things on a regular basis, a few, screw a few screws will start coming loose and you can easily retighten them. Uh, a few of them I'll show you right now. These screws right here can become loose, just go ahead and retighten them. You should be good to go. And if possible, if you can take these things off, brand new super glue them inside and put them back on these will pretty much never come off unless you eventually wear them off physically like sandpaper with your hands um this grip was very very helpful it really helps um me to hold on to the hand truck when i'm lifting something really heavy um but of course over time when it's being used on a regular basis they're bound to come off at some point so keep that in mind and um that's that's all i can think of as bad Overall, still a really good hand truck. I, I would buy one in a heartbeat again, and I, I most likely will in the near future once this thing um, starts to deteriorate a bit more uh, because I am lifting a lot of fridges. Um, but of course, that probably be another year at least. I left a link down below where you can buy it on Amazon. I think it's on Amazon. Check it out. Uh, otherwise, if it's not there, go on homedepot.com. Check it out there. Um, and of course, I'll put, I'll put a few more other recommendations below of identical hand trucks because I saw a couple other hand trucks online that looked exactly the same uh, just with a slightly different handle exact same uh, capacity and I would assume probably they're going to be performing just just as well so leave a comment below give a thumbs up to this video if you like it subscribe for more videos because I aim to put out at least a couple of videos a week and um, I'll see you guys in the next video